Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox have fans wondering if they might be headed for a split. Over the weekend, Green posted a cryptic message on his wife's 34th birthday. He shared a photo of some butterflies and wrote, Eventually butterflies get bored sitting on a flower too long. They start feeling smothered. It's a big world and they want to experience it. It's also worth noting that Megan famously has a tattoo on her back that reads, We will all laugh at gilded butterflies. The post comes after Megan was spotted out last Friday with Machine Gun Kelly. The two are set to star in Midnight in the Switchgrass together. Breakup rumors have been plaguing Fox and Green lately, as they've been photographed out without their wedding rings in the past weeks. The duo has had some public ups and downs. They first met back in 2004 on the set of Hope and Faith when Megan was 18 and Brian was 30. They'd eventually go on to date for roughly two years before getting engaged in 2006. They broke up in 2009, but then got re-engaged and got married in 2010. The duo welcomed two kids together, sons named Noah and Bodie, before the Transformers star filed for divorce in 2015. They eventually decided to call the divorce off and welcome their third child, a son named Journey. The 90210 alum is also parent to son Cassius from a previous relationship. Access Hollywood has reached out to Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox's teams for comment. Megan and Brian made a rare joint red carpet appearance back in December 2019 and spoke with Access Hollywood. Check it out. As bummed as we are that BH90210 is not coming back, we were so glad to see the West Bev gang back. Well, Gabrielle told us that she might be having a chat with you guys. She's holding out hope that the road is not over. What do you think? I, uh, fingers crossed for her. <laughs> God bless her. Who, you know, it's, yeah, it's, I, I hope for the best. I, I hope that something happens, but this is this industry is what it is. You know, we, we did 10 years of the show. I've been working since then, and if this show, if the reboot is done, done, then uh, then I'll keep working. Yeah. Well, Megan, you said that you'd never seen the OG 90210. Did you catch the revival at all? I did. I watched a couple of episodes. I really liked it. I yeah. thought it was funny and weird, and I, I, I really enjoyed it, so I was a fan. What kind of habits are you developing at home that the kids can sort of adopt and learn from in order to be a little bit more eco-conscious? Well, they go to a very eco-conscious school where yeah. they do seed to table, they, they plant their own vegetables and harvest and then sell to the local grocery stores and restaurants in the area. Um, so they're learning that at school, but also I think just the way we approach how, how we live and work with the environment. I'm, a, I'm big on not harming anything, any animals, including, for me, plants are sentient beings. They're alive. They have feelings. Some of them are teachers. Uh, and so I, I pass that on to my kids as well. Like, you don't just tear flowers out of the ground. You have to be respectful of the earth and ask permission to take something, and you only take it if you need it. Um, so that's, that's how I'm dealing with them about yeah. that.